In our quest to promote agribusiness in Ghana, we are all the way in the northern part, precisely the Karaga district, where we are going to engage a commercial rice farmer who is doing so big in closing the gap on the high importation of rice in Ghana. So viewers, kindly join me on Society360 today as I engage the 2021 National Best Farmer in the Northern Region, precisely Tamale, where he is into a lot of things, including rice. Alhaji Mashud is the CEO of Kujo Abimash Farm here in the northern region. He owns over 2,000 acres of rice farm, but today we are currently on 600 out of the 2,000 acres. He's going, he's going to take us through the journey as a rice farmer, what you need to do when you want to start, and every other thing you need to know. Welcome to Society TV. Thank you, madam. Yeah. Um, are you able to take us through your journey as a rice farmer? Yes, yes. You know, rice production is an interesting and the easiest way of cultivation, especially if you are to ask me, I'll say it's the easiest crop one can do as uh, a first time or a beginner in farming. Just because it's not too technical and over the years, you know, people have been cultivating rice. So people are well aware of the agronomic practices and other things, okay. especially in the district assemblies. Mm. So even if you are a first farmer and you are starting with rice production, you have somebody you can talk to okay. in the districts. It's not like maybe cow pea, peanuts and other things, where people are not so much abreast with what is happening. But as for rice production, the knowledge is out. There are so many books on rice production, especially produced by Crop Research Institute and then CSIR and then SARI. Okay, but practically, when you want to start rice farm, what, what and what do you need to do before yeah. you start? Uh, you know, rice, you know, every farming activity starts with the land. Okay. And when we talk of the land, it's not just any land. If it is rice production, it means that you need a valley a rice valley where water can be retained in the valley for some time before it dries up. Because mostly rice is cultivated in valleys. Okay. Uh, so you must identify a valley and then you look at your capacity. How much money do you have? And then what can you do? Then you size yourself or you do a budget for yourself in, in line with your income or what you are intending to invest into rice production. So you first identify the land. Mm. That is when you have your capital already, mm. you identify the land and then you then think of tilling the land. That is land preparation, we call it, or land development. Okay. Uh, so you prepare the land, that is uh, either by harrowing, if it is the first year uh, of working on that field, mm. you need to plow. Okay. Then after plowing, you need to harrow it to make it fairly level and then before you, you, uh, you plant. The planting can be done in either by transplanting, that is, you nurse the rice elsewhere and then bring it to the field to transplant. Mm -hmm. But here, we have not developed up to that point okay. because the transplanters are machines which mostly they use to transplant. But in other jurisdictions, they use manual labor. But here in the Northern region or in Ghana, it is mostly very difficult to get labor mm -hmm. because, you know, our perception about agriculture yes. is weird. <laughs> So transplanting, we do not do so much transplanting. And then the second thing is direct seeding, mm. either manual or mechanical. Mm. You use either, uh, if it's manual, it, it means that you use the uh, dibbling stick. Okay. And then you dip and then people will put in rice and then cover it. Okay. That's one, that's manual. Yes. But the mechanical, you use either seed drills. You can use seed drills, that's planters for, mm. for rice. And then you drill the rice in the field. That one comes with its own advantage. Mm. You drill or you, you sow with the fertilizers direct okay. on the field. That is if your seeds, you test your seed. And what is more important, especially as farmers, is this. When you are 
to cultivate any or to plant any seed, mm. it is it is very good you test the seed first to see the germination of the seed. Mm. If the seed germinates over ninety five percent, it means that you are sure that you have a very good seed. Oh, okay. So if you are sowing with a fertilizer, you know definitely what I am putting in the ground will grow with the, uh, the fertilizer will give it the strength to grow, to grow very quick. So direct seeding with machine with machines comes with this advantage. Okay. And uh, the third one is by broadcasting. You broadcast the rice. By spreading it by on the By spreading field. on the field. Okay. So you can either broadcast manually or you can broadcast with uh, mechanically again. Okay. And on this fold, for instance, we did uh, mechanical broadcasting, mm. which is very fast and to some extent very efficient than the manual harvest, uh, manual uh, broadcasting. Okay, so with the 600 AKC, you said you said you use the mechanical broadcasting. Bro How many mechanical, days? Did it take oh, two days, two days, Only two days, two days. So I assume we you have, were using human to. Do human it. would have used over ten days. Oh, okay. Uh, so mm. if you are using uh, mechanical broadcasting, it goes very quick because even two tractors, two tractors in two days, six hundred acres, you are gone. Okay. So like talking about all these processes, if I want to go into rice cultivation, and let me say I want to start with just an acre, how much do you think I should have? Everything. Yes, uh, Minister of Agri, every year comes out with a crop budget okay. of every crop. Mm. They will take prices of inputs and do a price build up. Mm. So they will take the cost of seed, cost of fertilizer, mm. cost of labor, cost of plowing, and they make provision for contingencies or overheads. Okay. And then add into it and then comes out with a crop budget. So for instance, 2023 crop budget ranges between 2,700 to 3,500. So even if we are taking 2,000, uh, 3,000 as in the middle, it means that you need to have an average of 3,000. So whereby there are certain things you may do yourself. Mm. For instance, the labor work and other things, you may do it yourself. Okay. <laughs> what about the preparation of the land? The prepara land preparation, so that's what I'm saying. So everything is boxed into this 3,000. Okay, okay. So it means that when you are to cultivate one acre of rice, you should be targeting around 3,000 Ghana cities to invest into that one acre of land. So it, in the wisdom of the ministry, why they are doing that is this. If you are a farmer, you should be able to plan and project into the future. Mm. If from planting to harvest, how much do you require? How much do you need? Assuming you have a capital of, say, 100,000 Ghana cities, mm. and it is lying down. You don't expect to make money anywhere again. This is 100,000 you are just going to invest. Mm. You divide it over uh, 3,000 uh, 3, Ghana cities. Mm. That can inform you what you will be doing for the next four months or five months in your field. Okay. Uh, so they support farmers with this, even though they come out with overall, but we as farmers, we also have the way we budget. And again, because uh, there is this thing in planning that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So as a farmer, you yourself must plan by using the Ministry of Agri crop budget mm. as your benchmark and then you work around but it. But where do you find this? Are there institutions available in the districts where you can just work Yes, and find uh, it? the National, uh, National Directorate mm. of Ministry of Agri that is the Crop Services Directorate of Minister of Agri, comes out with this uh, crop budget. And then they'll give it down. It will trigger down to the districts. Okay. And then the districts will also spread it to farmers. But if you are not, or if you don't ask, or if you don't go to the MOFA offices, I don't think you even know it because it is meant for a specific group of people okay. for farmers. Mm. So if you go and then, or if you are a farmer, definitely you'll be inquisitive to know this year what are we doing? What is the crop budget? And then they will give you the crop budget. Then you also come and put it in your plan as a farmer. Okay. <laughs> so after planning around 2,700 to 3,000 Ghana cities, what uh, return do I expect yes. from an acre? If all things be equal, rain, water, it's okay. Mm. Uh, 
you are able to do fertilization, you have good seeds, you are able to prepare your land very well, you are able to uh, control weeds very well. Okay. Depending on the variety of rice and your plant population in the field, mm. you can make between two tons to three tons in an acre. Mm. And if you are able to make that way, especially even if you, if, you, if you make the minimum, let's say two tons, that's 20 bags of rice. Mm. The 20 bags of rice, as we sit or as we stand now, Rice is going for around 350 Ghana cities. If you multiply it uh, and then you compare to maybe the crop budget, even if you take them, the maximum, you are able to spend up to 3,500, you are making 7,000 Ghana cities. So it means that your investment has brought you back 100%. Okay, so what was the size of the bag we are talking about? I, I mean 100 kilos. The 100 kilos. kilos bag. Okay, and marketing is one of the important aspects of agriculture. And most farmers, when they fail to do this, they cry at the end of the day. Is there ready markets for rice in Ghana? Uh, mostly, mm. yes, there's, there's, there's ready market of rice in Ghana. Okay. Especially, uh, we, we, this time is positive. Government is even advocating for, uh, to cut down importation of rice into the country. It means, what the, if there's a cut, you know, uh, rice alone from what I hear or what I've seen, mm. they said we are using about $1.3 billion to import rice into the country annually. No wonder you are doing so thousands of acres. If, so even if government is able to cut down mm. even let's say 30% uh, or 20% of this amount mm. and it's coming to Ghanaian farmers, I believe in the next five years Ghana should be self-sufficient in rice production. Why I'm saying this is this, any farmer or any young person who wants to venture into rice production, I don't think he's making wrong decisions. Mm. Because right now, government is saying he's cutting down the rice, product, uh, rice importation. importation yes. Another thing is that they are encouraging us to eat Ghana rice mm -hmm. and other private stakeholders, like uh, just one group of companies, okay. is coming in to the rice production. Mm. And if all these things come into play, it means that rice market will be very good and i don't think somebody will produce rice and it will be standing there and more, uh, more uh, and again other small rice mills are springing up mm. in the country and i mean if you have ever tasted ghana rice you know that ghana rice is even far better than any other rice in the world because you eat that one fresh from the farm and then it's not an expired Okay. product you are eating. So briefly, after harvesting your rice, do you process it yourself or and you just... We do less than 10% processing, okay. but the rest we also sell it out to other processes. Okay, mm -hmm. so per my calculation here, if you are doing maybe a 3,000 cities for an acre and it's 600 acres here, that's over 1.3 million dollars, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> yes, but you know, we are collaborating with so many people. Okay. Possibly, maybe you, you you may also be of help. Oh, yes. Uh, how, <laughs> then, how? Let me know. <laughs> how would that be of help? <laughs> maybe, maybe you have an ideal fund somewhere. Okay. You can, you can loan us. Mm. And then at the end of the day, you become a partner in, our, in whatever we are doing. Okay. Because we have capacity to do more than what we are doing. Even the 2,000 acres we are doing is still very less. So we have capacity me... to do even more than 10,000 acres. Okay, so give but, me a bit of detail on that. I mean, inviting people to invest. In this because you are doing less than what less, Ghana less than what, uh, yeah, what we need. So what and what do I need to come to Could you have much from and say, okay, I have some money lying down uh, Well, if, if, if you have partnership or you know input dealers or you can bring in fertilizers mm. and the government give you the go ahead to bring it and then you partner with us with it. Mm. I mean, you know, why not? Because farming is our uh, inputs. Okay. Uh, uh, seed and fertilizer alone takes almost 70 percent of what we, what we require. So we look at our budget and only work with what we can handle. Okay. So that's why we are doing only 2,000 acres. If not, we could have done more than even 20,000. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing this insight with us. And so viewers, there you have it. The CEO of Kujo Abimash Farm and the 2021 National Best Farmer here in the Northern region. And so we are encouraged by his story. If you are interested in going into the agricultural sector and rice is a field you want to take interest into, like he said, you can approach him and then he will take you through the processes and you would be able to also go into the sector and then end something. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow us on social media, Facebook, 
LinkedIn and Instagram Society360 with Sephako. Thanks for joining us. It's a bye from us.